Let's go. So the Super Mario Brothers movie is a new animated film based on not only the very popular video game franchise, but the very beloved video game franchise, the same in which we follow the Mario Brothers, Mario and Luigi, as after Luigi is sent into a different world, Mario goes to the Mushroom Kingdom and attempt to save Luigi. Besides me being a huge lover of films, I love video games. And one of my favorite video game franchises out there, as a matter of fact, is the Mario Brothers franchise. And admittedly, while I do prefer Legend of Zelda, the Mario Brothers has always had a very special place in my heart, as a matter of fact. The very first video game I ever played, trivia for you guys out there in case if you ever own this console, was Hotel Mario on the CDI, aka, as my brother called it, and I, The Crying Game. If you haven't played Hotel Mario, guys, don't. It's one of the worst games you'll ever play out there. Super Mario 64, I absolutely love. Mario Sunshine, I feel like does not get nearly enough credit. And I need to get back onto Mario Galaxy, I mean the original Mario Brothers games. As y'all can imagine, when I saw that movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. As a very young kid, let's just say it kind of broke my heart even though that video game adaptations have gotten better in the past five years like ever since i want to say 2017 maybe 2018 they have gotten better even though there have been setbacks to not get me wrong but nonetheless when i heard that they were making this movie even though i was very very cautious given especially that adaptation I was still optimistic because of how much better they have gotten in recent years. Even though the voice cast had a very mixed reception to, especially Chris Pratt, which I'll get into the voice cast a little bit. I was still very optimistic about this movie. So walking in, I was like, you know what? I'm not expecting Casablanca. I'm not expecting Toy Story. I'm not expecting Up, Inside Out, or Hunter Terror Dragon. All that I wanted out of this movie, guys, was just a fun and charming adventure through the Mushroom Kingdom. And guys, I had a really good time with the Mario Brothers movie. Now, with that being said, before I continue on, do I think that the Super Mario Brothers movie is a great film? No. And do I think that it's a particularly very good film? It almost gets there. However, do I think that this movie is a fun and a charming, lighthearted adventure through one of the greatest IPs of all time? Absolutely, yes. Let's talk about the voice cast of this movie, and I know everyone's going to ask me about this. Let's get into the elephant in the room, and that is Chris Pratt as Mario. Now, before I continue on, I do want to mention I'm a fan of Chris Pratt. In fact, I think that Chris Pratt is a terrific actor. But with that being said, him as Mario, I thought was a bit of a mixed bag, as there were aspects about his performance that I, would, I thought were really, really good. But then there are other aspects that I just thought I was listening to Chris Pratt. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Again, like Chris Pratt, I love Seth Rogen. But him as Donkey Kong, I would have never casted him personally. And when I heard him through that character's mouth, I just thought it just didn't work. Anna Taylor Joy's Princess Peach did not work for me at all. In terms of standouts, Charlie Day is Luigi. Absolutely crushed it and he was so good that going into one of my biggest issues with the movie is that he was so underutilized this movie i mean charlie day absolutely crushed it also jack black as bowser he stole every single scene and he has these moments where he goes to bit like of a musical style and i swear to god to you guys if you're a Tenacious D fan, you're going to laugh so hard. And also, Kiki Michael Key as Toad, I thought was great. Talking about the animation, the animation of this movie is absolutely stunning. I mean, seeing the various worlds in this movie, whether it was the Brooklyn in this movie, the Mushroom Kingdom, the Darklands, Donkey Kong's world, seeing Mario Kart being replicated in this movie, it brought such a big smile to my face. And also, going to something else that I loved about this movie, the musical score by Brian Tyler. His score is so good that if it comes out on record, I'm going to buy it immediately because it was just that freaking good. And you can tell that going on to possibly my favorite thing about this movie is that you can tell that everyone working on this movie has such 
a lot for this IP because the amount of painstakingly care that they took into making this movie is very clear from the very start and especially the references and that brings me to something else guys this movie is packed to the brim with so many references almost to the point where it can kind of feel like this movie is being carried by those said references but for me personally I didn't mind so much because I was having a really good time with this movie. I think that there's something for everybody to enjoy this movie, whether you're a Mario fan, if you're if you're not a gamer, if you love anime films, if you want a good family film all through this weekend. I think that the Mario Brothers movie, the Super Mario Brothers movie, is absolutely worth a ticket. Now, with that being said, one of my issues, one of my biggest issues with this movie was the story and script. Now, here's the thing. To be fair, the Mario Brothers games never really had the biggest story to them, but if you're going to adapt one of the greatest franchises of all time, I'm not expecting the grandest story out there, but just something a bit more packed with a bit more substance. It was very thinly scripted, and there's a lot of things this movie hints at, and I feel like that it doesn't touch upon really enough. This is something that kind of bugged me a little bit as I really thought about it, and that's the music. I'm not talking about Brian Tyler's score for this movie because the score was so freaking good, but it's the actual licensed soundtrack. While I do appreciate the effort this movie does try and do, at the same time, there's a particular track in this movie that is did not fit in even though i enjoyed this particular sequence that was put into this movie this particular track just did not fit but otherwise guys i had a really good time with the super marvel this movie now to be fair the movie isn't particularly a great film or let alone a really good film but if you're just looking for a fun a charming, a beautifully animated adventure through one of the greatest IPs of all time. You cannot go wrong here. As a matter of fact, I would definitely take kids to see this movie as I think this movie has something to offer for everybody, whether you're a Mario fan or if you're not a Mario fan. So all in all, guys, I'm going to give the Super Mario Brothers movie a 3.25 out of 5. Whether you're a Mario fan or not, I definitely think this movie is a fun movie. Go check out this weekend, guys. So comment down below and let me know, guys out of all the Mario games out there, which one is your personal favorite? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm also on Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links in the user names are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Super Mario Brothers movie. If so, please that like button, also subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell for my latest review goes live. If you guys want to see in my previous two reviews, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until my next review or video goes live, I will see you all next time.